Okay, so what we're about to do now is we are going to go into how to do MLA format, make a works cited page, and how to use Google Scholar to get acceptable websites for us to use for our research. So the first thing that I want to do is introduce you to the research norms. One thing that I want to tell you right now, Wikipedia is not allowed. Do not use Wikipedia, do not quote Wikipedia, do not put Wikipedia on your works cited page. We have to look for websites that are .edu, .org, or .gov. So if you look right here, this is what you would put in the search bar so you can narrow down your searches so they come from legitimate sites. So when I go into Google, if I want to avoid URLs that have .com, then I simply put site colon dot and then let's do org, org. And now I take a space and then I put in whatever I'm looking for, okay? So cowboys. Okay, so if you look here, you'll notice that all these websites are .org. Now, of course, Wikipedia is not allowed, but here's arlington.org, uh, sashamber.org, but I'm looking for .org, okay? Um, so that is a way for you to stay away from all .coms. Now, in order to make this as easy as possible, what you need to do is forget regular Google and you need to go to Google Scholar. So when you click on Google Scholar, you're going to have something that looks just like this. If it ever comes up. Okay, so here's Google Scholar. Now, what I want to explain about Google Scholar is uh, Google Scholar directs you to scholarly pieces that have been written that are acceptable for research papers and reports. We don't want to see information from a dot-com website. We want to see information that has been put together by a professional or by a student. It has been peer-reviewed by graduate students and professors, which usually takes months, and it allows you to have unbiased information that you can use that is acceptable in a paper. So Google Scholar does that for us. So let's say that I wanted to look up, and I'm just going to like kind of Let's see, I'm going to start off with org, and I'm going to put digital watches, okay? I'm going to write a report about technology, and I'm going to do a report, uh, something about digital watches. So, as you see here, what comes up are all these different websites, and they're all .org, okay? But I just kind of start looking for something, okay? An investigation into round touchscreen wristwatch interaction, uh, design rules based on the analysis of human error, uh, what can a dumb watch teach a smart watch, okay? So this one looks kind of cool. I'm going to do this one. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to kind of glance through it. And you know what? I have a feeling that this is going to have some information that I can include in my essay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take this URL and I'm going to cut and or copy and paste it and I'm going to put it in my research page. Okay, so there it's a link and I'm just going to put like 
smart watch, dumb watch. And that allows me to know what that particular uh, one is about. Okay, so now what's ultimately going to happen is I'm going to have to make a works cited page. Now a works cited page is something that can be so confusing and convoluted and aggravating because there's so many different things that you have to do to put the information in the right order. Well, fear no longer. Google Scholar does it for you. So since I am on this research paper, I can go back. This is the one that I just looked up right here. Okay. Now, if you look right here, there's this little button, uh, there's this little link on here that says cite. So if I cite it, it shows me all the major citations available. MLA, APA, Harvard has their own. We're going to be using MLA. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just open a, a Google document and make my works cited page as I go. That way I don't have to worry about it later. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to let me just bring up a works cited uh, page that I did earlier. This is what a works cited page looks like. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to just make a brand new one. So it's works cited. Everything has to be 12 point font. Everything has to be Times New Roman. Everything has to be one inch margins and everything has to be double spaced. So I'm going to make sure that, yep, we're double. Okay. So we're good to go. Okay. So now I put this in the middle. I hit enter. I go back to the left margin and I'm going to take this MLA citation, copy it, and I'm going to paste it here. Okay. Now, if you'll notice, it went back down to Arial, 10, uh, well, this is supposed to be in Times New Roman 12 point font. So I'm going to go up to 12. I'm going to change this to Times New Roman. And uh, MLA citations for a works cited page, the second and all the remaining lines that are part of the citation are supposed to be. Um, <clears throat> are supposed to be indented over. So I simply hit the tab key and oops and tab it over and we're good to go. Okay, so I've got my first citation down. Now I'm going to require that you have three citation or excuse me, three things in your um, works cited page and I'm going to require that you at least have two in text citations, which will be on another video. So uh, anyway, so I'm going to go back to the Google and let's say that, okay, I'm going to look up digital watches, edu. Um, Let's do a 3D printing. Okay, so now I'm looking at 3D printing and I'm like using 3D printers at school, identifying imitations of design, 3D printers, low cost 3D printing. Um, let's do 3D printers at your school, okay? So here I'm gonna pull this up. I'm gonna look this over. And oh, this has a ton of information that I can use in my essay. Ah, no problem. Okay, so I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this link into my research page. And I'm gonna put 3D printing in schools. Okay, and that helps me remember where it is and I can just go to it whenever I want. Um, okay, so now I gotta do the works cited page. Okay, might as well get it over with. So 3D printing, so what do I do? I hit this arrow up here and go back. Okay, click on site right here. There it is. Cut or copy. And here's what I have to remember, guys. Gregor Lutloff. Okay, so his name begins with an L. 
Well, your Works Cited page has to be in alphabetical order. Lutloff comes before Lyons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put Lyons down a step. And now I'm going to post this new one. And I'm going to go ahead and make all the changes. 12 point font times new Roman. I'm going to come over here and tab these parts over. Okay, and now I have two, two citations, and I didn't have to look up any of this stuff or put it together. It was done for me through Google Scholar. Okay, so just to make sure, we're going to do one more, okay, and I'm going to do this kind of quick. Um, so we've done site edu and site org, so let's do site gov, and let's look up um, smartwatches. <clears throat> All right. Uh, health devices, smartwatches versus smart headphones, when smartwatches contribute to health anxiety. Um, let's see. I kind of like this one. Okay, so this one looks interesting. So I'm going to check it out. Go ahead and pull it up. Uh, yeah, this looks like it's going to have a lot of information, something for me to quote. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to put it in my research page and just kind of title it so I'll know which one that one's for. And now I'm going to go to the Works Cited page and I'm going to go ahead and do my citation. So here's the thing. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit Cite. And this one, oh my goodness, what kind of name is that? And anyway, we have the name Golpagani, okay? Well, I'm going to go ahead, that's a G. So now I'm going to copy, I'm going to come up here, and G comes before L, so I'm going to move L down one. I'm going to post it, or paste it, and now I'm going to make the changes. 12 point font, Times New Roman. Oops. Okay, and now I've done what I can to get these next two. So now I have three citations, okay? Golpay Agni, Lutloff, and Lyons. That's a Works Cited page. Now let me tell you what some people are going to do. Some people are going to come up here at this Works Cited page and they're like, well, this is a title. I want it to be bold and I want it to be bigger. And No, that's wrong. Don't do that. Okay, do not do that. Leave it alone. Everything is double spaced, one inch margin, Times New Roman, 12 point font, period. That's it. Okay, so that is a way to use wonderful Google Scholar to make your Works Cited page. It's a no brainer. Like, you don't want to do it the old fashioned way, the way that I had to do it when I was in college. You don't want to do it that way. Okay, so anyway, that's how we're going to be dealing with. Um, uh, using Google Scholar to research and staying away from the dot-com websites and uh, that's how we're going to be uh, doing our Works Cited page. So the other thing that I wanted to bring up is this. MLA format and like I've said, one inch times new Roman 12 point font double spaced. Um, now I'm going to show you how to do the MLA heading. Okay, so this is what an MLA heading looks like in, an, in a research paper. Um, I'm going to be doing that for the next video, so stay tuned. And uh, if you have any questions, you need to email me. All right.